From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Lipakshi and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. India is a melting pot of cultures and tribal communities are a major part of India's diverse cultural treasury. There are 705 different tribes in India with their own unique set of traditions and lifestyle. In order to promote tribal culture and lifestyle of different tribes of Odisha, a 10-day long tribal fair was recently organized at the Adivasi Exhibition Ground in Bhubaneswar City. Showcasing the rich tribal culture and lifestyle of Odisha, a 10-day tribal fair was recently held at Bhubaneswar's Adivasi Exhibition Ground. Various tribal groups from different parts of the state participated in the event, wherein they presented their own unique heritage through a wide range of tribal articles including jewelries, household items and traditional food products. It provided a major attraction to the visitors in the form of agriculture products like cereals, pulses and spices, forest produce, utility items, handlooms and art and craft. Actually people think that uh, you will get authentic uh, items here. In the mall you are not aware what kind of person, uh, product that is. But here uh, because tribals are very uh, clear hearted, they will not mix, there will not be any impurity, there will not be any adulteration. So definitely these people have faith, that's why they come here. Popularly known as Adivasi Mela, the tribal exhibition showcased the best of tribal products in quality, design and versatility. Organized by the government of Odisha along with the SC and ST Development Department of the state. Actually, I have very uh, affinity towards all the Adivasis and I always uh, <coughs> feel that they should have a resources and they should be financially very much strong. So these type of tribal fairs should be organized regularly so that they can sell their product and get the money. Because whenever I see any poor tribal, uh, it touches my heart that they are very poor and uh, if this type of fair is definitely giving them opportunity to sell their products. A total of 121 stalls were set up by the authorities for selling and displaying authentic tribal products. A separate section of 10 PTVG or thatched houses was set up by the authorities which gave a tribal feel and atmosphere of the remote parts of the state. These houses have thatched or tiled roofs while the walls were painted with jyoti. After the two year long pandemic, this year the exhibition witnessed a huge rush of visitors who were excited to attend the exhibition. बहुत अच्छा लगा मैं यहाँ पहले से पता नहीं था मुझे पर यहाँ पे हाँ पर यहाँ आके बहुत अच्छा लगा और बहुत happening यहाँ का माहौल है और मतलब अलग-अलग states का handicraft वाला वो section देखा और उसमें बहुत ही बहुत intricate काम है ना उन्होंने किया है और ये जैसे ये वाला जो cottage वाला area ये मतलब इस type का representation मैं पहली बार देख रही हूँ ऐसे घर घरों के through Organized since 1951, the festival aims at introducing people from all over the world to the thriving indigenous cultures of Odisha, be it through their food, attire, my rare traditions, along with providing tribals with a brilliant platform to market and sell their products. These tribal artisans and craftsmen were very happy as exhibitions and fairs like these helped them in boosting their business. ये जैसे कि साल का पत्थर, साल पत्थर और नीम का तेल, ये नीम भी जंगल में मिलते हैं और ये हम ऐसे जिगरू बाला चास करते हैं, ये बीरी दाल कहते हैं और ये जंगल में मिलते हैं, ये पत्ता क्या? ये नीम का पत्ता, ये और जंगल में ये झूना मिलता है, मोहु मिलता है, ये सब चीज लेके हम आया हूँ, ये हमारे भूमिस्वर का अधिवासी मेला में ले� 
हम चा, हम चाहते हैं ये सब मेला ऐसे आकर अधिक से अधिक ज़्यादा कमाने के लिए हम चाहते हैं हम यहाँ छब्बीस तारीख को आया हूँ आज छब्बीस तारीख हो गया हम बहुत कमा कमा लिया और भी हम चाहते हैं ऐसे आएंगे और बहुत सारा पैसा कमा कर जाएंगे One of the oldest festivals of the tribal community, Adivasi Mela is a great platform that is not only helping in preserving Odisha's tribal culture but also enabling visitors to explore the intricacies of the tribal lifestyle. India is a land where Sufism has not only flourished in its true spirit but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities. The unity of these myriad faiths can be very well witnessed at the dargahs of Sufi saints. So today we take you to the dargah of Hazrat Pir Makdoom's Shaheed in Surat city of Gujarat that has been serving as a bridge between different castes and communities. The dargah of Hazrat Pir Makdoom Shaheed in Surat city of Gujarat has remained as an epitome of communal harmony since generations. Also renowned among devotees as Bhavan Gaj ki Dargah, the shrine of the Sufi saint is incredibly long measuring around 52 yards. Legends say that the long shrine abhorred around 468 martyrs along with their leader Hazrat Pir Makdoom Shaheed resting in peace. The Dargah holds a special significance among its devotees. They say all their wishes get fulfilled here and they get solutions to their problems ye 800 saal purana hai ye pe yahan pe hindu muslim sikh sai har ek qoum ke yahan pe insaan aate hain mil jul ke yahan se achhe tarah se bhai chara rakhte hain kya ye ekta ka ek pratik hai yahan pe aane wale jo bhi sardaru hai un log ka bhoot ho bala ho ya roozi rozgar ka ho क्या और कोई भी औलाद का हो क्या और जो भी है बाबा की मन्नत आते हैं यहाँ पे दर्शन के लिए आते हैं बाबा की ज्यारत करते हैं और मन्नत पाते हैं उस सबकी मुरादें पूरी होती है डेविटीज फ्रॉम डिफरेंट रिलीजियस बैकग्राउंड पे विजिट है सम टाई सीक्रेट नॉट ऑन द गेट्स ऑफ द श्राइन एंड सम ऑफ स्मॉल टॉयज एट दी दरगाह टू गेट देर विशेष फुलफिल्ड It is believed that once their wishes get fulfilled they again pay a visit to the dargah to offer a holy chadar and pray for the well-being of their loved ones and society Due to a large footfall of visitors at the dargah the local businesses too are flourishing around the shrine Shopkeepers attribute their success to the holy saint and pray the blessings of Hazrat Pir Makdoom Shaheed always be bestowed upon them यहाँ पे हजारों की तादाद में हिंदू मुस्लिम की तादाद में यहाँ पे भीड़ इकट्ठा होती है तो उनके जरिए हमें यहाँ पे बहुत रोजगारी मिलती है जैसे कि किसी की मन्नत होती है तो मन्नत अगर वो पूरी करता है तो वो चादर चढ़ाता है फिर आने वाली जो ऑटो रिक्शा है उनको भी फायदा होता है जो मतलब हर एक जात के यहाँ पे खिलौने रमकड़े जो भी दुकाने है वो लगती है और मकदूम सही सरकार की दुआओं से उनको बहुत फायदा होता है दी साइट लाइक हजरत पीर मकदूम शहीद दरगाह और टू रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द रिलीजियस सिंक्रेटिज्म द नेशन हैज अपहेल्ड फॉर जेनरेशंस नाउ अ राउंड अप ऑफ सम ऑफ द मेजर स्टोरीज दैट मेड न्यूज रिसेंटली The cast of the upcoming Bollywood family drama Gulmohar hosted a special screening of the film and held an interactive session in New Delhi. Bollywood actors Sharmila Tagore, Manoj Bajpayee, who are among the protagonists of the film, were present at the screening along with Gulmohar director Rahul Chitela and other actors. A family film uh, where you will choke, you will smile, you will laugh, and in the end. everything will be all right for you and this is the kind of film which is needed in this time and of course shamila ji being there is one of the the most attractive thing for for the for the film but uh, the script of this film is the is the real hero 
Gulmohar narrates the tale of the family and how they spent the last four years in their ancestral home which dates back 31 years and has sheltered three generations before relocating to a new city. The film is streaming on OTT platform Disney Hotstar. India's showbiz capital of Mumbai saw a star-studded evening as Bollywood celebrities put their best foot forward at the Z Cine Awards. While Bollywood actress Alia Bhatt backed the award for Best Actor Female for her role in the biopic Gangubai Kathiawadi, actor Karthik Aryan's performance in the comedy horror Bhul Bhulaiya 2 won him the Best Actor Male. Jug Jug Jio, uh... कि जैसे कि आप लोगों ने देखा था कि बड़ी एंटरटेनिंग फिल्म थी और लोगों को बहुत पसंद आई और जब आप एक फिल्म में एक किरदार पर मेहनत करते हैं और उसका आपको अवार्ड मिलता है तो बड़ी खुशी होती है। Other celebrities who glammed up the award show included Varun Dhawan, Kiara Advani, Shahid Kapoor, Anupam Kher, Rashmika Mandana and Tiger Shroff. An eatery has opened in the central Indian city of Indore in the state of Madhya Pradesh with a special customer in mind, Pooches. Indore resident Balraj Jhala came up with the idea along with his team and wife during the coronavirus pandemic when lockdowns led to limited food supply for pet owners. Dhabas or eateries are ubiquitous in India, but not many serve dogs. Jhala's eatery even offers home delivery for its customers and allows dogs to lodge if their owners need to work or leave town. India is a land where Sufism has not only flourished in its true spirit but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities. The unity of these myriad faiths can be very well witnessed at the dargahs of Sufi saints. So today, we take you to a shrine in Patna city of Bihar that has been serving as a bridge between different castes and communities. On the National Highway 2 passing through Kaimur district, people come from far-off places to offer chadas at Baba Jumasha's Mazar, situated near Mohiniya Patna Tern. Here, according to the local people, Alam Shah Baghdadi, a resident of Baghdad, before Sher Shah Suri, came here and was martyred. He was known by the name of Chautya Martyr. His real name was Peer Murid Khalil Shah Rehmatullah Ali. Later, people came to know him by the name of Baba Jumma Shah. This is Jumma Shah Baba. We have not been able to know him. 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 सब लोग आते हैं जो अपनी अपनी मुरादें मांगते हैं उनको मिलता है यहाँ भाईचारा का प्रत्येक है आवाम यहाँ हिंदू मुस्लिम सब लोग अपना अफतारी करते हैं और एक मिसाल मुसलमानों की है और हिंदू भाइयों की है कि हम लोग सब मिलजुल करके अपना इसको मनाते हैं it is believed that Hindus, Muslims or people of any religion who ask for their wishes here, their wishes are fulfilled and then later people offer chadas and prasad here. Whether troubled by physical illness, troubled by evil spirits or not progressing in their work or having any kind of vow, people visit here and their vows are fulfilled. On Fridays after 4 p.m., there is a crowd of people taking vows and blessings. Here people also cook and eat food. We didn't believe them, we didn't believe them. We didn't believe them, we didn't believe them. We didn't believe them, we didn't believe them. We thought that we would not be able to do the Muslims. We would not be able to do the Muslims. लेकिन जब से हमारा लड़की का उपकार हो गया मन्नत हमारा पूरा हो गया तब से इनको हम अपना देवी देवता सब छोड़ करके इन्हीं के शरण में हम गिरे हैं इन्हीं को मानते हैं जब भी आते हैं जाते हैं सलामी दिया करके अपना पूजा फरार करिए कि हम जाते हैं इनका अगर बच्चे अपना दुकान में ले जाते हैं रखते हैं 
Since ages, the Sufi saints like Baba Jumma Shah have propagated the message of spiritualism and harmony in our country. And their teachings are still playing a significant role in strengthening the threat of secularism. And now we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Locals in a central Greek town doused each other with coloured flour as part of an old carnival tradition. The flour war pits revellers against each other with tons of cooking flour tinted with food colouring. Είναι φανταστικά γαλαξίδι, πάντα εδώ αλεύω μου τζούρωμα, να είμαστε καλά και του χρόνου, και του χρόνου ελάτε να περάσετε υπέροχα. Hundreds participated in the event on Clean Monday in the coastal fishing town of Glaxidi, about 124 miles west of Athens. Clean Monday celebrations mark the end of carnival season and the beginning of the Greek Orthodox Lent fast. Revelers wear goggles and disposable paint suits to protect themselves from the sticky flour wafting through the air. The tradition is believed to have evolved from the 19th century during the period when Greece was occupied by the Ottoman Empire. Ottoman rulers had forbidden carnival festivities, but in defiance, locals would smear their faces with ash and dance in the street. Japanese firm JCP is one of the most reliable credit card brands all over the world. The total number of people using these credit cards is 150 million and the annual transaction volume goes to about 37 trillion yen. Starting as the first international payment brand based in Asia, the firm contributes in expanding the global payment industry. In India, JCP has issued 1 million rupee, rupee pay cards. Its market is expected to increase 30 folds in the next five years. で、JCB's strategy will help in accelerating commerce and contribute to the global economy in a number of different ways. Japanese firm ANA All Nippon Airways is accelerating inbound tourism by promoting itself among foreign tourists. During winters last year, the firm collaborated with Kimono Mom, a popular YouTuber with a subscriber base of 1.4 million. Tokyo and Kyoto are two destinations in Japan which are visited by many visitors. Apart from scenic views, authentic food and beautiful culture, these places are a sight to watch in different seasons. Dogo Onsen in Shikoku is a famous hot spring resort. This town is attracting a number of tourists. The culture of Gaisha has flourished in these hot spring resorts, which includes traditional music, dance and games for the recreation of the visitors. As Japan is surrounded by the sea on all sides, seafood is a major part of Japanese culture. Fresh seafood from Seto Inland Sea is enjoyed on barbecue. Visitors interact with locals which makes their travelling even better. Hokkaido is also a popular tourist place which attracts many tourists throughout the year. It becomes a snowy region in winters. Tourists enjoy beautiful winter scenery and skiing. It is crowded with foreigners visiting ski resorts in winter. ANA's inbound introduction has contributed greatly to tourism industry of Japan and is taking Japanese tourism to new heights.
Moving on, we will take you to Prayagraj city of Uttar Pradesh where the rigorous task of cleaning the Triveni Sangam, a confluence of rivers Ganga, Yamuna and the mystical Saraswati is underway by the National Mission for Clean Ganga under its flagship program Namami Gange. The main objective of the program is to plug sewage discharge of the city which was earlier falling into the river. Take a look. Prayagraj, a holy city situated at the confluence of Ganga, Yamuna and the invisible Saraswati. For centuries, it has remained a revered site for millions of Hindu devotees who come to Prayagraj to take a holy dip and wash away their sins at the Triveni Sangam. A continued expansion of the city over time coupled with exponential rise in the number of tourists has resulted in generation of massive amounts of sewage which was directly falling into the river. To keep the Ganga and the Yamuna clean and to maintain a continuous flow of water, the National Mission for Clean Ganga undertook the rigorous task of cleaning the river under its flagship Namami Gange project. The objective was to plug the 350 MLD to 400 MLD sewage discharge of the city, which was earlier falling directly into the river. In Prayagraj, uh, we have taken up uh, many SCPs and, and also taken up under the One City One, uh, uh, one, city one Operative Initiative. Uh, uh, the group which is uh, doing there has uh, taken up the contract for uh, uh, the operation as uh, One City One Operator. They are also upgraded many of the existing STPs and we also have sanctioned uh, 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 STPs which are actually much more than the, uh, the, the calculated generation of, uh, of sewage there. The NMCG with the support of state administration laid down sewage network in the city, set up intersection and diversion of sewage network, sewage pumping stations and construction of several sewage treatment plants. The NMCG also took charge of rehabilitation, operations and maintenance of existing sewage treatment infrastructure. At present, seven sewage treatment plants in Prayagraj are treating 268 MLD of sewage water. They include 80 MLD 91 STP, 60 MLD Rajapur STP, 29 MLD Saluri STP, 50 MLD Numaya Dahi STP, 25 MLD Kodra, 10 MLD Ponghat STP, and 14 MLD STP in Saluri. Apart from 14 MLD Saluri STP, other six plants are running under one city, one operator scheme. The hybrid annuity based PPP mode includes operations and maintenance of the sewerage infrastructure for 15 years in the city. Major city drains like the Chachar Nala have been tapped and the sewage water has been diverted into STPs. Most uh, important or most sacred city is our Allahabad, where Ganga and Yamuna are Sangam. Before, these Nadiyo were open drains direct from the untreated sewer. वो डायरेक्ट जाते थे उसके बाद फिर जो है प्लांट्स का रिहैबिलिटेशन शुरू हुआ और हमने जो है अडानी कंपनी को ये सारा प्लांट चलाने के लिए मिला था तो हमने जो है अपना सारा ट्रीटमेंट प्रोसेस रिहैब सब कुछ किया है यहां पे और आज के डेट में जो है गंगा नदी में अनट्रीटेड सीवेज बिल्कुल ना, नाम मात्र का जा रहा है थ्री न्यू एसटीपीज ऑफ टोटल कैपेसिटी ऑफ 72 एमएलडी एट नैनी फाफामाऊ एंड झूसी आर ऑन द कोर्स ऑफ गेटिंग कंप्लीटेड once operationalized, no untreated sewage will flow directly into the Ganga and Yamuna rivers. The devotees at Triveni Sangam have witnessed the difference and have hailed the authorities for making the holy river clean. the <laughs> साफ सफाई अच्छी है यहां पे और लोगों को भी जो घूमने आते हैं यहां पे उन्हें भी जागरूक होने की आवश्यकता है पॉलीथीन न डालें 
खाने पीने का सामान ना डाले एक्स्ट्रा वैसे अच्छा लगा यहाँ पे आके और यमुना गंगा नदी का पानी भी साफ है यहाँ प्रयागराज इज फेमस फॉर इट्स हिस्टोरिक कुंभ मेला विच इज हेल्ड आफ्टर एवरी ट्वेल्व ईयर्स The National Mission for Clean Ganga has roped in nearly all stakeholders under its flagship program Namami Gange and made an integrated effort to accomplish its mission to clean the holy river. As the Padma Puran says, as the sun is amongst the moon and the moon amongst the stars, likewise Prayagraj is best amongst all places of pilgrimage. Well that's all we have for you this week your comments and suggestions are important to us do give us your feedback at myindia@ainin.com i'm your host lipakshi and it's goodbye from the entire production team